What's happening? We're getting a tractor. We, it's tractor we, day. We've got a tractor. <laughs> Definitely not something I'd be comfortable doing anytime soon. <laughs> Drive it? Uh, sorta. Well, uh, we didn't keep it a secret from Teresa because nope. well, she came back with the kids while it was coming yeah. in. It was just, he was sitting here on the driveway and the girls hollered right. I said, is that what you were doing? She says, yeah, we were supposed to keep it a secret. <laughs> and they did. He's, we've only driven this at the dealership yesterday. <laughs> uh, we'll talk more about that in a bit. There you go. Windy, so I have my hood up but uh, we have been looking at tractors for like six months I think off and on just randomly but we started looking six months ago and uh, essentially we looked at several different brands the one that we ultimately decided was probably best for us was the Mahindra and we'll talk I'll let Ryan talk about why he chose that specifically um, but we looked at Massey Holland um, uh, did Kubota? I can't remember. Is another another one that like LS or something? Is two letters, uh, and then Mahindra. We originally two days ago were dead set on an HST transmission, which is basically turns your tractor into like driving a car. If you don't, if you know anything about tractors, the majority of them like if you think about driving a tractor, it's more like driving a manual car. Uh, this is very dirty too. We have obviously driven Tim's Oliver 550, that's manual. But it's just, it's a lot to think about and when we drove the Kubota that was an HST for the first time, we were like, this is awesome. Well, when we went to go look at Mahindra two days ago, the guy really encouraged us to just try the shuttle shift. It's not quite like manual, it's a lot more like manual. But it's basically like HST and manual had a baby. What do you think of the new tractor? <laughs> do you like it? It's pretty cool, huh? Like I was saying though, a little bit later Ryan will explain why we went with Mahindra specifically and like what model this is and everything, but now he's just dropping the forks. We just got forks in a bucket with it. We have um, a brush hog that we can use right now that we use with the Oliver and a couple other implements. Uh, okay, that was good, you were in. There you go. Uh, you're off a little on that side, just barely. You might be able to knock it in though. The whole time I came down here, the parking brake was on. Happy cows, happy cows. Bringing him some hay. I was just telling Ryan, hey, you could throw this in the bucket, open it, and then dump it over. He's like, I could. Patrick's gonna be here soon though, so. What's up, dildos? You want some hay? Yeah, I'm gonna get you some. I think the biggest thing we are most excited for with this tractor is the fact that we can now move round bales because we are wasting a lot of money with square bales right now. Round bales are just much less expensive. But we had no way to move them at all. Obviously, they're like a thousand pounds. So if you don't have a way to move them, you can't use them. Um, and we did not have a way. So we've been having to buy square bales. You know, you got a square bale. This is a square bale of Timothy Orchard. It's a little bit uh, better than like fescue. Um, and that costs $10 a square bale, which is actually pretty good. It could be anywhere from like 10 to 12. A round bale, the same thing, like 65 to 85, you know, 50 pounds versus a thousand pounds. So it's quite a lot of savings to do round bales. So we're very excited about the money saving of that aspect too. I've got a million emails that I haven't read. Got a break that squeaking that well, I, I got. I wanted Ryan to have a chance to get the camera. Very nice. Got a yes, it does. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> five year power train one. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, you got. It is. I already put a mason jar in there with a zip fit. It felt. Yeah, it fit great. We got that on the brochure. Is like, yeah, my water bottle. My water bottle will probably fit in there. That's golden, isn't it? Yep. That was always cup holder on this track. There's no cup holder. Good to go. There's some baggage sitting in the trunk. What do you think? Is that pretty exciting? Yeah. Back 
I'm me excited no too. We're gonna be able to start doing lots of stuff with this. She's dancing. What's up? Did I just break it? No. Okay. You didn't break it. Make sure everything's in neutral. We got two miles of open road. That's in the radio. We got both windows down in. It doesn't sit all the way down, but it's, it's in there good enough. Yeah. I mean, it might bounce out if I'm <laughs> really going, but. This is the Mahindra 5155. Last summer, we did look uh, at a few different options. There was little availability at that time. Yeah. And then also just finances. We're like, ah, I don't know if it's really the, the best time to do it. We're really starting to do more stuff that a tractor would be extremely beneficial. It would save us additional money. The square bales cost two to three times as much per pound as uh round bales do but if you get round bales you have to have a tractor to be able to move that or some other big implement to be able to move those round bales because they're anywhere from a thousand to two thousand pounds um or really 900 like, to 1500 yeah, like eight, eight to fifteen hundred pounds yeah uh depending on the size and all that and so just that alone could save us a lot of money by being able to buy round bales instead of square bales so why do we choose mahindra well, Mahindra, super, super polite, really great guy, Lee, um, kind of took us around. We told him what we were looking to do, and we told him, hey, we really are looking at an HST, a hydrostat, and he's like, yeah, that's good and all, but based on what you're describing, why don't you take a look at this 5155? Based on all the stats that I could find, the specs of the different machines, and the price point, this machine, for its price point, was like far superior in a lot of the stats and specs that I was looking at uh, to some of the other makes. So with tractors, um, you've got, if you've got a front loader, a front loader can lift so much weight, right? Um, and for pretty much all of the other, all of the other brands for this size tractor, 55, 60 horsepower, they can do 2,300 pounds with the loader. And that is basically, my understanding is at the pins. So once you get this to the height of those pins, that's where it can sustain 2,300 pounds. With this machine, this loader, it can not only do 3,100 pounds, it can do 3,100 pounds at full height. And Just this will go raise up 10 feet. Whereas a lot of the others can only do eight to nine feet. Uh, so this has far superior height far superior weight class um, and digging and digging capacity because some of the stuff we want to do is actually going to require like digging down this can do I think like 11 inch eight no eight. Oh, is it yeah the other ones that's like twice the dig depth as most others so I mean we had planned to use the loader um, and the forklift and all kinds of stuff quite a bit so this just made more sense, especially at the price point. Again, compared to everything else, it just far, it like blew that stuff out of the water. With the emissions, so with tractors, you've got a diesel engine, there's what's called a, a DEF. More or less, what it means is you've got like a, a regen cycle. Basically, the engine has to clean itself. And with every other make, they have that type of thing where when it goes into that regen cycle, my understanding from everything I was reading online, it could take 15 to 45 minutes. And it's gonna happen when you're on the tractor. Like you start it up, oh, it has to do regen. So you've gotta wait 15 to 45 minutes for that to complete before you can go do what you're gonna do. Mahindra apparently spent $30 million uh, a few years back to basically re-engineer their engines to eliminate the need for that regen cycle. So there's essentially no downtime with this tractor like you would have with some of the others. Which um, saves gas as well. Yeah, it saves, I mean, time, effort, well, gas, I, really just all around. I was really pleased with that aspect of it on top of, you know, the, the loader well, capacity yeah. and all that other stuff. So this one, it just made the most sense for us. Um, and it just look, looks beefier. Yeah. We looked at a few, like we looked at a Massey that was 60 or 65 um, horsepower. It was, it was 60 horsepower. That Ugh. was hydrostat. Yes. But it was much smaller. 
Um, yeah. But I like mean, this, this whole area just looked not near as beefy. Yeah. And this is definitely like some of the one of the weightier machines in its class. Um, so it definitely has more weight to it, which actually plays a part in some of the loader capacity. Yeah. Now, one thing with that added weight, I think this as it stands right now is like 5,500 pounds. With that, of course, when we're on wet ground, it is gonna start tearing the ground up a little more than you, it would with a lighter machine. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, you've got to weigh your, weigh your um, options and kind of pros and cons, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I think it's gonna work out really, really well for us. And I'm just stoked to have a tractor, finally. <laughs> um, it's gonna make a lot of things really a whole lot easier. We'll be able to do things that we wanted to do, but haven't been able to. Uh, really since yeah. we moved here. So. We have friends with tractors, but nothing of this size. Yeah. So it'll yep. be very helpful. Yep. Tim's about to be here, so he's the last one to surprise. He should be home any minute. We're gonna pull it around front and uh, get his reaction. Howdy ho! How are you? Good, how are you? You know, if I was any better, I'd have to take something for it. How's work been? Work's been work. It's really Tim's got a new job. They don't know that. Newish. Newish. Look over there. No way. Oh, man. Oh, am I impressed. <laughs> Flipping jealous, too. <laughs> Howdy. Man, I'm green. <laughs> 